guys, Mike Chapman here, and uh, welcome to this week's video. I hope you uh, had a, a good uh, a good week. And this week we're going to ha have a look at what I refer to um, as an iceberg order on a chart. And an iceberg order, I don't know if you've ever come across the term, but feel free to um, feel free to uh, Google it. What it is is when big institutions have um, massive orders to fill, uh, the bank will. Do the bidding and the, they'll essentially uh, split the order into pieces and then it's, you more or less get an idea of like the level being worked and oftentimes what will happen is you'll see uh, the following so you have a decent level the, the level's a bit of a mess over in, in here but then it starts to uh, it starts to get pretty decent and a little bit more accurate uh, in here now levels are really zones it would be lovely if uh, price only ever came to uh, like a straight horizontal line and turned on a dime that would be fabulous uh, but ultimately as we uh, are all uh, pretty much well aware that doesn't really happen so you're going to try and train your eye to to these zones now zones don't want to be deep because deep zones are a pain to trade you can't really understand uh, what uh, what's going on um, and um, yeah they're very difficult to read but when you have a, uh, a, a tight zone, no more than 20, 40 pips, I would suggest. Uh, obviously, it's uh, it's kind of time frame dependent, but it doesn't want to be uh, it doesn't want to be too deep because when it gets deep, it's hard to be accurate. So it's very easy to understand that that is a, a, a prominent level and it's been respected several times. It's very easy to understand that these are traders who are selling off that level, believing. That what had happened uh, historically didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what happened historically when price came up to this point and it sold off was going to uh, essentially uh, happen again in uh, in here. And this is a, a phenomena that I uh, refer to as entry cheese. And it's dead simple. It's just literally, if you think about the hard right edge, tr traders just look left and. They may have a, a trade idea, but the determination to pull the trigger, even with a trade idea, is based on historical, a historical analysis. So they look left, and they then come to the conclusion: all right, so this is like you know, imagine we start the count here. So this is one, two, double top. Oh, cool! Like maybe a triple top, not far away. A quadruple top, etc., etc. All right, cool. The idea is: the more levels touch, the stronger it gets. That's the narrative, of course. That's not true. It's quite the opposite. Every time a level touches, orders actually disappear. And what happens is, though, if you think about um, an iceberg order in, in the context of this uh, of this chart, um, to get those orders off, you're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have to go deeper because every time it touches, those orders evaporate a little more, and it draws traders into trades. So as it comes down they were all thinking it was going to work they place the stops just above the level and then it breaks up stopping those traders out but when it breaks up like that it drags uh, breakout traders to go along especially if the level's um, accurate uh, they'll believe you know that it's a this is a bit of a pressure cooker a common uh, breakout trade um, uh, vernacular uh, and and this thing's going to pop it does pop of course it pops serves to stop these people out but then comes uh, careering back now normally um, you would see uh, um, uh, a bounce off the level but it doesn't it just goes deep so there's no liquidity in there and then it comes back and kind of still is above the level but then finally drops and goes below now every time it's trying to go higher again it's drawing more uh, traders in uh, to go long so it, it, it's um, uh, an iceberg order is a big stop hunt so they take a little while to work themselves out but when they finally go they, they go um, and um, yeah so this is an example of that um, you've got a nice area where prices um, have been essentially uh, accumulating or distributing in this case uh, accumulating shorts in this particular uh, pair uh, for a trend continuation uh, play uh, but um, 
can't tell you what the pair is, can't give you any trading advice, don't provide trading advice, it's only educational purposes only, this could be anything, makes no difference really. Um, you should also know that trading um, is a insanely high risk game and you're probably going to lose all your money. Um, and we've just got to uh, we just got to explain that to you because it's very difficult and um, and the chances of loss are extremely high. So this is just an educational video. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, guys. Take care.